Afghanistan political leaders gave up and fled the country. President Joe Biden's disastrous retreat from Afghanistan has put America in a difficult position as it relates to bringing Afghan allies over to the United States. Vetting under the best of circumstances is a very challenging undertaking, with 14 steps typically taking a year or two to accomplish. And that's under the best of circumstances. And all we screen for is known biometric connections to terrorism or crime. There is no ideological screening for the threats of radicalization people from Afghanistan may pose. And yet Americans feel committed to bring particularly our allies back over to the United States under what is called the Special Immigrant Visa Program, the SIV program set up for our Afghan and Iraqi allies. Unfortunately, if you look at the Iraq program, there are over 4,000 cases of fraud, which points up the difficulty of vetting and identification even under the best of circumstances, and this is for people we worked with. When you look to the refugee challenge, it is an even more massive challenge to face. This is why we should be resettling Afghanis in the region from which they come, near Afghanistan, and do the vetting that we're going to undertake on a non-emergency basis, don't bring them to the United States until the vetting has been completed. Keep America safe, as that should be our first priority, while we work to keep our commitments to our Afghan allies who we did get out. Tragically, the State Department has admitted they left over half of those they expect as our Afghan allies behind the lines in Afghanistan with the Taliban, along with numerous American citizens. This is a tragedy of epic proportions. It has undermined America's standing in the world. But we're not done on this front as new Afghans arrive in the United States every day, but without adequate vetting. This should be done differently. President Biden is making a further mistake compounding the terrible retreat from Afghanistan with the importation of potential security threats without proper vetting.